Hey there, I'm the Chad, and here's a little game I found on itch.io. It's a very short little horror game, but I guarantee it's going to really scare some people on a visceral level, just based on the content. This might be the shortest game I've ever played, but I wouldn't say it was the worst. Let's jump in and see if it scares you. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple times. I'm an adult now, and that terrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Cool. <laughs> Okay, let's find our phone. And we are walking slow. Okay, what button interacts with stuff? Holy smokes, we are very slow. Where's that phone? I don't need to use the bathroom, so that's the bathroom. Even, are we are we supposed to go downstairs? Further away from the attic, the better. There it is. There it is. Our phone. Uh, okay, from Alex. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. and It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. You, uh, But you know how kids are and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Okay, now we need to clean up the dining table. I think we can manage that, right? Well, it's not even dirty. There's clean dishes. Okay, they're not clean. Today, my brother came to visit. He brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. Well, technically, yeah, she definitely is your niece. <laughs> it's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults ta talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and let her there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. Um, I don't like how that I have to click on the screen every time I like interact with something or else I'm like stuck with like in cursor mode. Do I put him here? Do the dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready. So I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said it. There was a man upstairs, staring at me in the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit, frightened. We all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and, and soon after, they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Great. Do I have to go upstairs now? I have to find that asshole in the attic. Uh, that sucks. Okay, time to get some shut-eye. Boiler room. I don't think I need to go there. Probably not. Probably not. Jeez. This guy must be way tired. He can barely walk. Look how slow he's going. Da, 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 da. Some simple, unique art. It's not like the same art you see in every other horror game. That's cool. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Damn, bro. Spooky shit. These noises, they're coming from the attic. Okay, I'd be lying if I didn't say that. Uh, give me goosebumps, because it definitely gave me goosebumps. I don't remember leaving this door open. Hey, who's up here? 
Show yourself. I have a gun. I'm trained in martial arts. Who keeps this picture around? You can put that away. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. I'm being crazy. It must just be mice. Okay, let's just go to bed. Shut the damn door behind us. Fuck. It's weird, this game just went into windowed mode for no reason. So, if you see it crop a little bit, it's probably because I cropped it in post. Bed. We're gonna wake up and see a man standing in the doorway, aren't we? Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything and you question it once more. Is the man in the attic real? I'm not controlling this right now. We're about to see somebody standing up there in the attic, aren't we? What's going to happen? Too much suspense. <gasps> Those are not human eyes. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement, perhaps the man under your bed. Thank you for playing. My specific fear, the man in the attic. Well, how about that? <laughs> 